So this is my rusty old 2007 NC. I'm going to change the headlight bulb. Uh, I need to change the low beam, but I'll show you the high beam as well. The low beam is a little tricky. Uh, high beam is a bit easier. The low beam is an H7, and these are hmm, the other sun. Uh, the one on the left is the way the bulb comes. On the right, that black plastic housing is uh, part uh, is, is goes back in the car. I have removed the whole fuse box assembly. There's the housing there, cover plate there. This here is the top. Comes off. You need these screws off here. These two connectors, um, plugs here, off and the whole thing clips out with these uh, clips around the side. Below that is this relay uh, assembly and take that one out as well. This uh, comes out, I just hang it over the edge here and this one will hang over there like so. And I do apologize if this isn't coming out too well because the sun uh, is out, as you probably can tell, and my screen on my trusty old camera is not the best for this thing. So let's take a look inside here. Um, <clears throat> get in there, you. The outer uh, is the low beam, the inner is the high beam and you've got that white plastic looks like a funnel to the right of it is the high beam to the left is the low beam the h7 now i don't know if i can get the uh, the camera in there to show you what's going on but there is a little spring steel clip which holds the bulb assembly in place to get at it you have to take off the rubber boot uh, don't worry it goes back on easily enough it's this thing here um, these two tabs here one of those just pull on it and the connector there's no clip on this connector it is just a bayonet that uh, is pressed on if I can find it and oops there it is um, so as, as I say this bulb is held in assembly is held in with a spring clip and I don't know if we can get in there and see it. I'm going to see if I can get at it in a few minutes. The high beam is much easier. It just twists out. You have to take off this yellow connector first of all, and then it'll twist out. So I'm going to stop filming right now and see if I can get hold of that clip so you can see it on the, uh, on the screen here. Okay, so there is the spring clip and I don't know how well I can show, but it hooks under a plastic tab. Now when you're taking the bulb out, you push the clip towards the front of the car and kind of tip it to the left and it unhooks and swings out of the way. Oops. And allows you to remove the bulb. So when I put the bulb back in, I hope I can show you that spring clip underneath. It's a bit of a trick, but don't be frightened of it. And don't bend, you know, get the pliers to it and force it all over the place. It's pushed down and slide to one side and it should just pop right off. Okay, I, here I go. Now you can see the bulb in place and that spring clip uh, underneath the, the silver plastic tab. So that's the part you release and the bulb just pops out. The bulb is oriented. It has on its base a black plastic tab which fits into the appropriate slot. So I've taken a picture of this spring clip because um, I knew what I was looking at. And what we've got is on the lower, uh, the bottom arrow, the slot in the plastic housing and the right arrow shows the part of the spring clip that goes into that uh, slot. So what you're going to be doing is pushing down the spring clip, which is pushing to the front of the car, and then pushing off to the side so it'll come out of that slot. 
and uh, as I've mentioned uh, elsewhere it does come out uh, quite easily so don't get the pliers and the screwdriver and everything else in there now another comment as well you'll notice the tabs the electrical connection on the back of the bulb they appear to be corroded and they probably are a bit there so pulling the plastic uh, electrical connector off is a bit of a trick what I did was got the screwdriver underneath the clip and against that black plastic housing and uh, go in from both sides and force the thing off uh, and that didn't do any damage to the housing. I will try it now again without my handsome face and on the other side of the car um, the washer fluid tank has to come out uh, and that's easier than taking the fuse box out and then you have again full access but to me the whole trick of the thing is knowing which is which and especially removing that clip I've seen other videos again ripping the bumper off ripping the body panels off um, also taking the Phillips screw out for that spring clip none of that is necessary in my most humble opinion one final thing um, the screw down there the nut very easy to take off and lose I just put a bit of grease in my socket Oops, Daisy, and put the nut on. Oops, and it's not falling off anymore.